What are the facts? Why so? How can I help? Not enough to lament. No, not enough to lament. You must do something. Something within your means. The Amuru women took on a whole general who comes complete with bodyguards. Guns were in the place. But these women say, okay, today we have given you, you should. <laughs> hey, but also when he saw the firepower, <laughs> the firepower, <laughs> he could not shoot. Eh? You understand? Are you seeing my point? So if you see a brother chasing away a sister, even if that is not your sister, and you let it happen, Mr. Chairman, you have allowed that culture to be established, isn't it? If you see a young man, because of other reasons, coming and saying the wife is lazy and beats her, and you do nothing to him, you understand? You have created that culture. And yet those days, at least from reading one of my favorite books of all time, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite readings, and I use it uh, to contextualize all of my discussions. My favorite book of all time, Okot P.B. Tech's Song of Lawino. I really like Lawino. I wish I had lived in the time of Lawino. And for me, when I hear people say that an Acholi woman is considered not empowered, please go and read that book. Is Lawino a woman you can play with? My grandmother Your grandmother was a woman. Your grandmother was a woman. Has anyone ever re read that? So, uh, or could be take some of Lawino. Have you read it? By show of hands, put up your hands. Or could P.B. take some of Lawino. Should be, a, eh? You read it. Can you consider Lawino a woman who is not empowered? Very empowered. Very knowledgeable. Very experienced. Articulate. And she reasons out her point. Yes. When did we become these women they talk about the weaker sex? Huh? When did we become like our Lawino was singing for her? She saw and told her husband truth. Huh? When he was there confused, in fact, it is the husband looked confused. The woman was asking questions. But you can imagine the tragedy uh, that Okot Bibi Tech is an Acholi and you, his next generation, for him he left a legacy that you should be proud of as a Choli, a Choli women. We've not read the book. What has happened to our idea of seeking knowledge from our elders and what has happened from our elders giving us that knowledge and restoring and maintaining our good cultural practices to the end? That is what we are talking about in terms of accountability. When we talk about accountability, look to yourself first. If I am complaining about this unfinished road, what did I do to help? Are we, are we together? If I'm complaining about land grabbing, what did I do to help? If I'm complaining that the elders are not giving us space, what did I do to help? That is for me political participation, that is for me participating in the processes, and that is for me the most important job of every citizen. What have I done to help? Me, I'm a coward. I cannot manage some of that very active activism. But I have a blog that is uh, followed by 25,000 now. But if I wanted it to be followed by even more, I can. You understand? So on that blog, I post. There was a post I made recently that got 70,000 reactions. My blog is simply called Nora Waraga's blog. Come there and let us engage. And when you come there, when you don't have facts, I will hit you with facts. Mm -hmm. You make a statement which is based on no facts. University students, originally this lecture was actually called university lecture. Before you begin to engage, what are the facts? 
Why so? How can I help? And for each one of those, finding out the facts and sharing the facts, you've already participated in the political process, isn't it? Because some of us don't know the facts. Eh? But you share the facts. Then afterwards you say, mm, but why so? Why are these the facts? Even that one you share with us and say, this thing here is like this, like this, like this, because of like this, like this. You have participated. You have contributed to the process. You understand? And then when you say, how can I help? You come and say, these are the facts. This is why. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going on social media. I'm going to a school. Where was the school here? I'm going to school. I want to reestablish uh, debating programs. There is, I want to establish political edu education because of this. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding? Because if we do not do anything, our sister has already told us, if we do not do anything, it becomes normalized and it becomes the norm. And therefore, it becomes culture. It becomes the way of life. And then you have people misinterpreting the people of Acholi from the south. People of Acholi have been misinterpreted as violent people. Have you ever heard that? These Acholi is here. Eh? That is not the picture people from the south have of you. Are you understanding? So, I think I have communicated. Mr. Chairman, I think I beg to wind this down. If you, the easiest way to get in contact with me is going to my blog on Facebook. It is Nora Owaraga's blog. You can follow my website. I have a website, simply noowaraga.com. And I am active also on Twitter. My handle is very simple, N O Waraga. If you go there, you comment, you do what, that is where we can engage. But don't go there to send me a private messenger. You will not get a reply. <laughs> yeah? I don't know. Eh? Yeah? So, at, hmm? everybody will write at the same time. You write in your book. At, N O W A R A G A is my Twitter handle at N O R A G A, which is at N O W A R A G A. That's my Twitter handle. Feel free to follow and let us engage in conversation.